start prepping the mast. I've got to show you all my master splicing tricks. And all of those are done, and everything organized. Man, uh, so frustrating. Eight o'clock in the morning, just dropped Simone off at the boat. She's busy editing to kick out another episode. And here's our list to do for today. So we've got upholstery, gotta sort out some rigging. So I've got to collect rigging that's waiting for us for the two four stays. Then we have to phone Southern Ropes for our final order of all our new lines and some mooring lines and some road. I always tell Ricky, when you get a parcel, wait till I can film you opening it. Do you think he does that? No, he's too damn eager to open up his parcels. It's our new two force days. Freaking awesome. It's actually the first time I've ever played with this stuff other than obviously removing ours. So we've got a stay lock, we've got our bottom turn buckle. There's the little one for the for the inner four stay. So guys, we've got into that stage where the mast is outside and we're gonna start prepping the mast. And I don't mean prepping in terms of halyards and that, but we've cleaned it and washed it and done all of that stuff in terms of gear. And that means installing our tricolor light with anchor light that's below this. Very nice setup that they got. I believe Lalisa's does this. They're super nice, very neat looking like that. And uh, we can do it because we're a vessel just under 12 meters and this is for vessels just under 12 meters. So we're lucky on that. We don't have to do the two bow lights and all of that. Although we still need a steaming light and we still need a stern. We don't actually need a stern light because this one has one in the tricolor, but we will install one anyways at the back. Mount for our VHF aerial. And that looks like this, one of these whip tips. And this is also AIS enabled one. Um, probably at a later stage we're probably going to change it and run a secondary aerial to run the AIS independently. Uh, but since our VHF has AIS built in, we're going to run with one of these. This will connect up the simple bracket that mounts in, goes in there. It's all about figuring out how to mount this bracket in a nice spot that it's not in the way of anything else. And then we've got our uh, an anometer that we need to mount. Uh, with Raymarine they come with a nice little base bracket mounted like that probably have it aft facing so that if we peek out of the out of the dodger it'll probably be very easy to see if we put it to either side we might have a bit of a shadow or whatever so we're gonna put it to the back backwards facing something like that then we got our deck light which pretty much shines on on our, or our working light deck light shines on, on on the deck of the boat so that we can see everything at night if we're working if we want to do something if something goes wrong we can turn that light on with good light and then we've got to have our steaming light on there and then our radar and this bad boy quantum ray marine so awesome we bought this in the beginning of the project and maybe thankful that we did because if we got into this stage we might not have been able to afford one we would have allocated the money to other more important things but radar always a great great thing to have and uh, so yeah we're lucky we got this one there's our steaming light for vessels less than 12 meters according to according to the call rigs what's great about those lights they come with these and it's a 3m double-sided tape so all i'm going to do is put it on drill the holes that i need to be drilled and then i'll screen and tap into that one of the things that i've discovered lately is using 3m vhb tape as a dissimilar metal barrier the so barrier between stainless and aluminium slap some 3m vhb tape there it adheres to and then you can do your fasteners onto that some of this stuff duralac tough to get you in south africa for some reason can't seem to find it too much around but there's a guy who helped out with some other stuff one of the old sailors uh, helped him out with some other gear and um, he says um, use this and I have seen this all along this mast it's been green stuff read up a little bit about it and seems to be pretty good anti-corrosive joining compound inhibits electri uh, electronic corrosion between dissimilar metals so yeah if you guys can get hold of that seems to be good So all the connections we did with those, and if you don't know them, it's a solder and then two seals and then a heat shrink. And over that, I put two heat shrinks to seal everything up. On top of it. We drilled the holes in the bracket that our radar sits on. The electronics will only be mounted once the mast is already up.
We then ran all the wire through the mast for our lights and connected them up. I didn't get a bracket with the, with the light, obviously you never get brackets with the light, so I've got to make one. So I've just got a piece of stainless steel that is lying around, a piece of scrap, marked all my lines where I need to do bends, and then the line where I need to cut off, and we're going to fit it over here. So we're going to have our little steaming light over here, and our, that's our deck light working light. So that's the bracket pretty much, as you can see. And we'll rivet it onto the mast over there. We'll just bend them in a bit more of those tabs and we're done. Putting some of this Duralac stuff, and it's just to isolate the two materials from one another. Put some VHB tape there on the back too, just to isolate it from the mast too and it's purely a barrier. We just, uh, we just got this little power pack. It's a 12 volt power pack and all we're doing is just testing the lights, make sure that everything works. I'm gonna check the tricolor top. Sweet. Ching, ching. Sweet. Moses helped us out the weekend and we got started with our rigging. Got a little bit of corrosion there. And our top, that's for our furler. So we're just going to clean all of that up nicely, lube it up, maybe even add some anti-corrosion compound and put everything back together. And inspect all the pins, replace all the split pins. So this is what she looks like before. And as you can see, there's just a single strap over there. And then just split over here to take either one of the back stays. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to standardize these holes are not standard. I want to go to 13 mil. I'm going to get another plate of the, like this recut and then we'll go down to the standard which is a 13 mil hole and then like that the whole rig is standard if we need to get gear anywhere it's easy to get just make new pins and we'll fit. we've got a new strap for the other side these pins have been in there without compound so they're a little bit tight and a little bit seized but we're just going to smack it out that's pretty much how our two backstays are going to be the only thing that's going to change is that plate we're going to make a new plate on monday because all the suppliers, metal suppliers are closed today. So that's a setup for our front one. And it's gonna go on to a stay lock. We have a Norseman here, but it's gonna take a stay lock up front. Check in this window. So there's the windsock over there. Check out that windsock. Forecast is gusting 45 knots. Luckily what happens with this marina, if it blows from the west, it flattens everything out. But if it was east, there'd be one hack of a swell in here. Onto these dead eyes. We've got the dead eyes which we got from Kraken, Luke in the US. And we're going to make all of these lashings. So there's our Super 12 from Southern Ropes. And we're going to get all of that turned into these. So that we're ready, hopefully Monday, to get it on. So one of those things that have been really on my mind to talk to you guys about is doing a boat build in like an open area like we've done. You're exposed to the elements 24 7, 7 days a week. And if anyone knows PE, they'll know how brutal this environment is. The wind pumps here. It'll be sunshine in the morning, it'll be raining this afternoon. And you're trying to build a boat outside. It's freaking tough. So. If anyone's ever considering doing a, a boat build or a refurb or something, try your best to kind of get it to somewhere, even if it's up a stream somewhere into a little warehouse or something like that. Just to help you out a bit, 
because the weather will really sometimes get you down. But yeah, I think somebody needs to help. Oh, let me go out there. Oh, at least we got some indoor splicing today. Uh, I've got to show you all my master splicing tricks. I've only been doing this for like two months. Oh, you've been doing it since Luke? I'm joking, I've been here since Skywalker has been here. So Luke left me a whole bunch of these goodies. Like this thing. I think he said this is to start the engine when it doesn't fail. A Marlin spike? Ah, Simone knows them. It's got some of these. These are apparently to, to do Fist. shoelaces. Spicing fits. Yes, I'm clever, eh? I'm clever. Too smart. <laughs> Too smart. Simone's got it. She's got it down. Thanks to Luke. Although it's not as wet. As neat as when Luke left it here. Luke, check at this. What is going on with this box? All of those are done, everything organized. So we've got each one attached to a sexy dead eye. Man, uh, so frustrating. So we've prepped up our mast pretty much. We've run our rigging on the mast. We're ready to haul up the mast. But do you think the weather plays right with us? No, this wind never freaking stops, which is great for sailing, but really crappy when you have to work. So we're trying to finish up our little things that we still have to do. And hopefully the weather clears up sometime this week so that we can hoist up the mast. So, all our Dyneema rigging is done. Check out, those are the custom uh, spreader tips that we put, that we made out of HDPE. And check, there's our... Oh man, almost looks like carbon fiber. But it ain't. That's the uh, Super 12 from Southern Ropes with the chafe sleeve cover on it. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna seize these tips on. So we're gonna literally run lines over in a figure eight like that. Until it's secure and doesn't move. So that's what the mask looks like at the moment. VHF aerial, super awesome uh, LED light. And that's where our anemometer is gonna go plug into there. I just took it off because I don't want it hanging outside here. Secondary force stay that I made out of Dyneema, uh, out of Super 12, just for the moment so we can get the gauge length. There's our back stays. Check how nice that looks, man. Now that's, the other one's missing because I'm waiting for that toggle to, to get, for the guys to bring the toggle. Yes. Those are solid thimbles. And the whole rig is done like that. Check at that. Man, that's beautiful. Whole master set up. Show you down here what it looks like. There's our white steaming light. Also LED with our deck light hailer. So we're gonna have lots of good light at night. We wanna party on the decks. So yeah, the only thing we need to do, our furler's here on the side. See that long aluminium one there? That's our furler. And we still got the drums at Basil's house. Hopefully we'll get out to that this week. Get it all done, all the wiring's in conduit in there. And those lines are all gonna get replaced with new lines. But for now we're ready to go up. It's Wednesday today. We've been waiting since Monday for a crane and obviously because we're trying to get the discount, the crane can only come on the days that they've got work inside the harbor. So we wait for them for those days. And when they pitch up, then we just use them once they're done with the other work that they need to do first. And then obviously it's at a much reduced price, much cheaper. So it's affordable for us to do it. And that's just gonna get our mast on. But the boat is looking sweet. Check that. Anchors on. Everything's finishing up real good. Gotta give you guys a better view. Check that. Let me get my head out of it. That looks awesome, man. So much work. Year and a half down the line. And we're finally getting ready to launch. Super excited. Just want to freaking go sailing already. Travel, eat food, surf. Not that I can surf, but we'll try something. Check out those badass solar panels. Thousand watts, baby. Let's get to work. 
Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to support our production, you can do so via any of the links in the description below. And have an awesome week.